we picked quite a few green beans. I put up uh, the first picking we got three quarts quart bags after they're shelled and blanched and everything three quarts and the second picking we got four quarts plus one day we cooked a big mess of them so we've picked quite a few beans I'm gonna look in there in a minute it's been two or three days since I checked them there's probably some need to be picked today it's looking like it's gonna rain I'm always starting new projects around here and I'm going to do another one. My back deck, many of you may have noticed, not this deck here by the garage. I've been, I started tearing it down and never finished it. But my back deck on the back of the house has got to be rebuilt. This one's going to be eliminated. So I decided I'm going to try to rebuild that deck and I'm not going to get in no hurry. But I'll work on it a little bit at a time. The way it is now, it's getting all decayed and rotted. We never even come out the back door. But I want to start using that door again. The way I'm going to do that is fix it to rebuild that deck. So we'll do some projects on that. Get around here and... Yeah, there's going to be some beans to fix today. If I don't get rained on. I picked a, did a video picking beans the other day. And I forgot this GoPro is on my head. So all you could see was the leaves. The camera wasn't even pointing where my eyes were. So I never even bothered to publish that video. The tomatoes weren't near as big this year. Some big old green ones down in there. We had some fried green tomatoes the other day. They were out of this world. They definitely were good. If you ever never had no fried green tomatoes, I got a one of my first videos on YouTube was me frying up some green tomatoes. Ain't nothing no better than some fried green tomatoes if it's done right. Well, I don't know whether to pick any more of them or not. We'll get one more here. Well, we got a half a bag of the majors here. Put them down. The thing about picking my beans, you got to get up on the ladder to pick them. ones on there's still some lower ones here but I had most of them pick where are we gonna start at what is that an airplane can't see him for the clouds I have to be careful looking up for the simple reason I have vertigo and if I look and look up and then move real quick I'm subject to fall down so thick I can't even see how to get in there to pick them. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow to see that vein specialist about my leg. Clot blocked the vein in my leg. We're going to get a pretty good mess of beans today. I can see that already. Some of them I picked the other day were really big. 
These are not fully developed, but they're big enough. The healthy little bean right there. And they're pretty good bean. I don't want to climb too high on this ladder. I'll be going to fall off and broke my neck. I bet there's a lot of beans up there I can't even see. I'm going to have to climb down and get me another bag. Well, I broke that bean. You ever been harvesting or picking something and have a damn snake get on you? That's when you hear old Walter scream and fall off the ladder. It don't matter if it's a green snake or what it is. It will scare the snot out of me. I better climb down and get some bean, uh, bag before I drop these. A lot more up there that I can see. I'll slow down, my vertigo is getting me. Well, should have brought two bags. Huh. Went to the store today and bought some more gasoline for my lawnmower. And you can see out here why I did that. I cut the front yard a few days ago. But the backyard, I never got to it. And it's been, what, a week and a half since I cut the back and this growed up again. Uh, won't be cutting tomorrow because I'm going to the doctors. But someday, in, sometime in the next few days, I'm going to get back to cutting. Where do I want to start at? I'm going to work on the ground here for a little while. I'll go back up the ladder in a minute. If anybody wants to grow themselves a bean tree like I did, it's really a good idea to do it. It works pretty good. My only flaw was I only put up one of them. And I planted way too many beans at it. So as a result, you can see it's hard to find the beans. If I'd have just put five or six vines for each pole, they'd be easy to find. And probably would grow better, bigger and better with uh, more sunlight getting to them. But these are looking real good today. It's only been about three days since I was out here picking last. If you got to keep them picked off, or the vine will quit producing. Got plenty of holes from the Japanese beetles, but they don't seem to be hurting the beans now.
Ladder's trying to tip over with me. Must have sunk up in the ground. That would be a heck of a note to break your neck. How'd you break your neck, Walter? Picking beans. Dirt's muddy up under there and it just sunk up in the ground. I saw a bean fall on the ground. Where did it go?
Walter, that's a good place to stop. I'm tired of climbing the ladder. falling down again over a half a bag of half a grocery bag of beans not bad for 30 minutes more there's more beans on there needs picking but it ain't gonna get picked today They'll get washed again when we clean them and snap them. We just get any sealant dust or whatever off of them. We are harvesting the fruits of my laborers this year. supply in the freezer this year. <laughs> 